Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa held a remote meeting with the Ambassador of Italy to Bahrain, Paula Amadi. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of further reinforcing the strategic partnership between the two countries, which continues to deliver the common development goals. He expressed his appreciation for the role the Ambassador has played towards further enhancing the bilateral ties. His Royal Highness and the Italian Ambassador also discussed regional and international issues of common interest. The Ambassador expressed her appreciation for the efforts extended by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince towards strengthening the bilateral relations. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for providing the opportunity to establish clubs in the form of commercial companies in accordance with the commercial companies law. His Highness stressed that the issuance of this decree reflects the support and interest of His Majesty the King for youth and sports in the kingdom, praising the efforts of the government headed by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness also praised the distinguished efforts made by the representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work and youth affairs, National Security Advisor and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa in this regard. This initiative comes within the goals of the program Mstijaba, which includes His Highness's vision for the advancement of youth and sports sector in line with the visions and directives of His Majesty the King to further develop the, by this vital sector. His Highness stressed that this decree will constitute a qualitative shift for clubs and will support efforts to build opportunities for cooperation to support investments and economic growth. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fozia Zainal, affirmed that His Majesty the King's wise approach is the best path that leads to achieving national goals and expectations, as well as the roadmap for attaining more gains for the country and its people. She praised the statements made by His Majesty the King while paying a visit to the General Command of the BDF yesterday, which included a royal praise of the role played by the legislative and executive authorities to preserve pension funds. Zainal asserted that His Majesty the King's directives to step up efforts to increase support for low-income citizens in a way that would meet their needs and achieve stability for their families proved the unwavering humanitarian role played by His Majesty. The Speaker expressed deepest gratitude to His Majesty the King for backing the parliamentary proposals that are aimed at supporting low-income citizens and taking care of their living conditions. The Shura Council Chairman Ali Saleh stressed that the directors of His Majesty the King regarding promoting life stability for all citizens, particularly those with limited income and their families, will remain a precursor of the be and a beacon for national work. He praised the royal keenness on bringing about national accomplishments and achieving distinction in various fields. He expressed pride in His Majesty's praise of the efforts of the executive and legislative authorities to protect the pension funds. As Saleh stressed that protecting citizens' interests is a top priority, pointing out keenness to ensure that retirees can continue to obtain their rights defined by the laws and regulations in this respect. The Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, hailed His Majesty the King's issuance of the Royal Decree, adding a new Article 62 to Law of Association, Social and Cultural Clubs and Private Organizations, working in the field of youth and sports and private institutions, which grants the opportunity to establish clubs in the form of commercial companies in accordance with the co Commercial Companies Law. Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim affirmed that the issuance of the decree is an important step for the sports march, which translates the directives of His Majesty the King of increasing the contributions of the sports sector in the Kingdom's comprehensive development march. He stated that the decree will have a positive impact on the march of national clubs. The Housing Minister, Basim Al-Hamar, has revealed that a total of 763 citizens have benefited from the Mazaya housing program so far this year. He stressed the success of the housing vision of the government regarding activating the partnership with the private sector through cooperation with real estate companies and various banks. The minister pointed out that the electronic tr transactions that the ministry is pursuing, especially after the launch of an, its new electronic platform, contributed to simplifying procedures and speeding the completion of various housing transactions. He indicated that the statistics showed an increase in the number of those who benefit from the services of the Mazaya program every year, noting that their annual number increased from 773 in 2014 and 2015 to 1,358 in 2019. The minister also highlighted the statistics of the economic impact indicated 
indicating that the total amount of spending provided by the Mazaya program and the relevant sectors included the real estate, finance, contracting, engineering and real estate sectors has reached 837 million Bahraini dinars, which affirms the program's contributions in supporting the national economy and the kingdom. Under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the AMA International School in Bahrain held its 12th graduation ceremony. A batch of 175 graduates received their certificates from AMA International School Bahrain's Associate's Representative Mark Whitfield and High School Director Amal Halwaji. The ceremony was held following precautionary measures, and GFH Financial Group CEO Hisham al Rayas addressed the ceremony, thanking His Royal Highness the Premier for patronizing the event. He expressed delight in presenting the group's awards and recognition of students' dedicated efforts. Whitfield described the school as one of the most outstanding in the GCC countries, citing its advanced infrastructure and highly committed team. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 4,123 with 567 new recoveries, 482 registered new cases and 6 deaths. The Ministry of Health expressed its condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules and follow instructions and avoid public places when possible.